Hey guys, good morning. This week we're gonna cover one question because it's more involved, but I got a question about what is my favorite online retailer? Okay, I, I will kind of give you a rundown of some of the retailers I use and why I do or don't like them. So first up, Sam Ash. Sam Ash, I really haven't used too much online. It has been more of if they carry a specific item and I can't get it anywhere else, or they're blowing some Supros out, or uh, they blew out a bunch of 2015 Gibsons. You know, I, I took the bait there and ordered a couple guitars. You know, they're solid to work with. I had one issue over price matching and they weren't very nice about it, but they, they did it in the end. Fast shipping, stuff came well packed. I've never had any damages with them. So Sam Ash has been good in my opinion. I had an uncle that lived in New York City for years and years, and now this is probably 20 years ago, but I would go with him to Sam Ash stores. And I just remember just seven guitars high on, on the wall and just an unbelievable amount of inventory. I mean, it is Manhattan, but just an unbelievable amount of inventory. I just remember being, you know, a kid and just like staring at that wall and, and the angels sang. <laughs> Let's talk Sweetwater. So Sweetwater, uh, personally, I love the picture thing. They seem to start that, like this is your guitar, pick your serial number and look at the grain and all that stuff. Very cool. In the beginning, uh, I, I would gravitate toward them if I was going vintage sunburst or looking for a flame top, that kind of thing. But since then, other retailers have started taking pictures and you know, American Music Supply does it, Musician's Friend does it to an extent, they don't open everything. You got Dave's Guitar Shop, you got Wildwood. You know, it, it is available more readily than it used to be. And they give you candy, which whatever, you know what? Keep your $2 candy and give me more and a discount. Because at the end of the day, I like to go through gear. I like to play a lot of different things. I don't necessarily buy everything new, but when I do, I want to get the best deal possible, right? So do you. I find that their discounts up front aren't that good. They will match certain items. If I want something brand new for Mesa, I will go to Sweetwater. I don't buy too many guitars from them. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll get something if it's a good demo price, that kind of thing. I missed out on a PRS uh, Tremonti head. So, but Sweetwater in general, you know, they're good. They will harass you a little bit. Um, they'll follow up with you on how the gear was and they'll call you. And you know what? I, I really don't, I don't want that. Don't, don't call me. I make my purchase. If everything goes fine, I'm good. I can exchange an email with my rep every once in a while, but I don't need all that follow up. Just, just stop it. Uh, American Music Supply and Zounds are, I think, like the same company or sister company. So I'll kind of look at them together. They're both very nice, extremely fast shipping. They process everything quickly. Don't think I've ever had an issue with them. I order a lot of Denton Scratch, truthfully, um, from both of them. And I really haven't had... <laughs> any issues. Some of the guitars or amps, I'll find like a little defect, but I think what it is, is someone buys it, they don't like it and they return it. Yeah, there could be legitimately an issue with it or not, but it's usually a customer return and you get maybe 15, 20% off the sticker. And it's allowed me to try some different things. So I enjoy it. They both don't carry every brand you might be into. So that, that could be an issue, but they're usually pretty solid. And a tip is if you're just poking around on American Music Supply site and they have your email, they will send you like coupons within a week. So you get like five off 50, 20 off 200. I mean, it's not huge or anything. It's generally 10%, but hey, 10% is better than nothing, right? Uh, let's talk about Chicago Music Exchange, the uh, inventors of reverb, which has become quite fun. Uh, let's just talk about Chicago Music Exchange. When they were blowing out all those ESs, I obviously picked up more than a few of them. They've been a pleasure to deal with. I did have a couple issues with a couple guitars. They did exchange them, return them, no issues. I got return labels right away. I could ask questions, ask for additional pictures of stuff. They've been great. And I bought used gear from them too, even through their website, not necessarily through Reverb. I think now they direct you through Reverb if you make an offer or do anything like that. They generally accept them if you're in the 15-ish percent range. If you stretch to 20, they will probably be less inclined to do so. And getting to one of my favorite retailers, Musician's Friend, which, I have used for years, but in recent years, I've been really using them heavily. Finally got hooked up with my own rep there. And I can call or email this guy and he takes care of me, which is great. I find their customer, general customer service isn't as good, but 
my contact is awesome. You know, he doesn't do what I ask all the time, but he doesn't mind answering the question. He chats with me a little bit. We've gotten to know each other, which is kind of cool. But they have that 8% back program which pretty good. So if you can wrangle 15 or 20% off brand new and get 8% back in store credit, that's the way to go, friend. It's the way to go. I can't find a bigger discount than that anywhere. Unless you start buying used. And for me, buying used or new doesn't matter. If it's what I want or what I'm looking for, I don't care if it's used. I want to know going in if it's damaged or you know, beat up or anything, but if it's in like new condition and I can save a bunch of money, why not? Right? Because at the end of the day, I think we're all just looking for something or looking for lots of different somethings and we experiment and there's nothing wrong with that, but the used market is definitely kind to that. But musicians friend in general, uh, their shipping is pretty quick. I mean, generally for me, because of where I live and where their warehouses are, it takes three or four days. It's usually next day processing on orders, which is kind of irritating, but I'll, I'll take it because I'm saving money and I'm getting store credit and I can get other stuff. And, you know, that kind of works for me. They will match most things. They are a sister company of Guitar Center, which I'm not a huge fan of Guitar Center. I rarely buy anything from them. They have to be the only one carrying it, basically, for me to go there. So I'm kind of lumping them together, but I prefer Musician's Friend. You know, over the years I've used them. I haven't had always the best experiences. Last few years, they've been great. I bought some scratch and dents from them. Those are more legitimate scratch and dents. There's, I don't know, you could probably check out some old videos, but those those got some bumps and bruises on them. They are, they are not just your standard customer return. Like, I didn't like this guitar. There's a tiny little thing. This is, this guitar was dropped in shipping and there's a chunk taken out of the Telecaster. That kind of thing. You know, is it worth the like $500 discount if you're buying a $1,000 guitar? Maybe, it depends, because you crap it up yourself. Yeah, Musician's Friend, I, I really haven't had too many problems with. They've been good to me. It's a more in-depth question to answer, but those are most of the retailers I've used. I've used Dave's Guitar Shop. I recently got a guitar from them. Uh, you're gonna see that here shortly, but they were good too. Answered a couple questions, shot me info right away, and the guitar was as described. So I appreciate that. If you have a favorite online retailer, I'd love to hear where you get stuff from, how your experiences are. Please leave them in the comments below or message me either way. As always, thanks for watching. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.